So now that I've got those grouping set up, I'm going to make some controls here so I can select these guys and animate them. I don't have to hunt through my geometry to find it and hunt through my hierarchy here. So what I'm going to do is create some controls by just using curves. Scale that down a little bit. And in component mode, I'm just going to make this a little bit more interesting. And anything that gets rotated, I tend to give it uh, more of a asymmetrical shapes that you can tell that it's been rotated. If you use a circle, what happens is you get confused, or not confused, but you can't tell it's been rotated or not. Okay, so I'm going to use that. And let's make sure its pivot is at zero, zero, zero. By hitting X to snap that. And I'm going to snap it to the front of my toe. And this is the control I'm going to use for that toe roll. I'm going to duplicate it and actually rotate it 180 degrees. And I'm going to move it straight back, and that's the one I'm going to use for our heel control. Something like that. So let's put those in first. So I'm going to select that toe uh, circle that I've created. I'm going to freeze the transformations. I'm just going to arrow down once. And if I show DAG objects in my outliner, oh, not DAG objects, I'm sorry, so shapes in my uh, outliner, what you'll see is I've actually used that to select the joint, or select the curve underneath the, the object. So if I select the curve, what is this? If I select the curve and arrow down, I get that shape. And now what I'm going to do is control. Now what I'm going to do is just control select that toe control, or that toe roll, and I'm going to use a simple script, which is parent dash r dash shape. And what that should do is now move that shape node from underneath the NURB circle to actually underneath the, the toe roll. And if I turn off show shapes, well, you notice that our toe roll looks like it's now a curve. That's because it has that shape parent underneath us. And that's exactly what we want. Now I have a quick way to select that and rotate that object. So I'll do the same thing for the heel. I'm going to freeze the transformations, arrow down once, control select our heel roll, and use the same script. In the script editor, if I just arrow up, I'll get that last command, and I can just hit enter, and it'll go ahead and do it for me. So now I can select that heel roll, and I can rotate it from that position. So now I just need one for the ball, and the ball roll, as well as for the whole overall foot control. So I'll create a circle, and I'm just going to squish it just a little bit, delete its history, Faces transformations, and I'll snap it to that. Let's make it a little bit skinnier. Freeze it. Arrow down once. Go to ball roll. There it is. And run that script again. Parent dash r dash shape, and now it's underneath. I can grab the ball roll control, and I can quickly access access it to rotate it. Exactly what I want. And these extra shape or the extra groups that are left behind, let's go ahead and delete those. So now I've got I need to make one for the toe control and the foot control. So I'll make a circle again. I'm just going to V snap it, gonna rotate it up 90 degrees. Let's make it somewhat interesting. Well, it doesn't matter what you do. There we go squares are always nice. And I'm going to delete its history, and I'm going to freeze its transformations, arrow down once, and I'm going to find that toe control and parent dash r dash shape just like before. Now I can go there and flop my toe around. So last thing I need to do is make a foot control. So I'll circle again, snap it, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, bring it in, go to Component mode. Oops, I dropped it. It's a very simple shape that'll work. Make sure to freeze its transformations. Arrow down once. Select the foot control. Parent touch hard touch shape. And I can delete this here. And you'll notice that I didn't delete the history, so I still have some history in there. I can go ahead and delete that history. I should be okay. There we go. So now I have a quick way to grab that foot. I can rotate it from the heel. I can rotate it from the toe. And I can rotate it from the ball of the foot. 
and if I want to, I can flop my toe a little around. Now these IK handles are still here. I'd want to hide them when I animate, but I want to make one last control, which is a pull vector control. So I'm going to create a circle, snap it to the knee, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, scale it down, move it forward, let's make it look like something else. 